everybody, welcome. We're doing this workout today for Renaissance Club Sport, Aliso Viejo. I'm super happy that you're here. And just make sure you guys have some room. Um, today, as you know, we are doing light weights and conditioning. So if you don't have weights at home, guess what I found that is the best thing? This size of laundry detergent. I'm guessing that it's about five pounds. That's my guess. It works really well for all things. Uh, because it's filled with water, there's kind of a cool balancing act happening, so that can be better for your core. But just about everything I do today can be done with this job. This class is lightweight and conditioning. I'm so happy you're here. This is brought to you by the Renaissance Club Sport and Elisa Viejo. My name is Erin Woodbury, and I'm super excited to be here with you. This is an hour gift that you give to yourself, so make it super good and super happy. Um, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds transition to a cardio move, and then we're just going to repeat that one time, and then we'll continue with the class. All right? So let me start our music all the way over, and we're going to get started. All right. Here we go. Music's going to start, and then we're going to start with squats. All right. Make sure you crank up your tunes if you need them a little bit louder at home. Roll your shoulders back a few times and squat it out. Here, down and up. Super basic. We're going to warm up and heat up those larger muscle groups. I'm going to have it a little louder for myself. Good. Down and up. Good. Now take this to a pulse. Go down. Round up. Flat. Round up. Flat. Round up. Ready. When I say so, move number one, I'm setting up for you. 
We're gonna start. Don't face me. I'm just gonna turn to the side. We're gonna start taking the position back as well. I want you to keep those arms off and diagonal. And you're gonna bring them together, hold them slightly away from your body. As she lunges, and we'll do it a little bit faster. Are you ready? Let's give it a shot. You're gonna start in. Open. Front and center. And then you're gonna lunge two times. Good. So this is for back, obviously, and legs. We check it out. Good job, you guys. Now all these moves will work if you can catch the beat, but because we're doing things to time, sometimes we don't always catch it the very first time around. Good. You guys have 12 seconds left. Good. If you hold the weight a little further away from your body, it's a little harder for your core and your shoulders, which is what we want. We're going to floating lunges right now. Take them, raise your weight in your body, and let's go. Now, this is still a step. So just keep going. Ease into it. Here we go. Crush it. Now, we're going hard for 20 seconds with your weight, and we're going to put them down a little bigger. So if your knees are not so good, slow down and just step back. But if you can do it, whoa, tiny pumps. In four, three, put your weights down right here. Here we go. Big jump. Big jump. Conditioning. Modification. You're chopping back to the weight. Yes! You have six seconds and we'll transition back to your weight. And good job. So now you know how far you have to push during those conditioning sets. Roll your shoulders back, pinch it forward, set it up. Two on one side. Here we go. One, two, bring it center, lunge back, lunge back. Do it again. Just 
you know where this is going, right? It's gonna get harder. Okay, I think everybody's muted. Thank you for that chat, my friend, and letting me know. All right, go ahead and put those weights down. You have just a moment to squeeze. Squeeze those arms together. Quick jacks. Quick, 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 quick. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're resting. You're picking those weights back up. So rolling those shoulders back. We're going to work on a little bit better of a butt squeeze at the top. Ready? Go. You can also do a single, single, double twice. You're at the D. When you stand up, your butt should be so tight that just the very process of swinging or squeezing it together bursts. There's a little harpoon going right through here to here. Squeeze your butt at the top. Your stomach is at the same speed, your parallel. Stay with it. Then we're going to do our pump and jack. Hopefully, made that um, crowd make it sound better. All right. Ready? Transition time. Right here. If you don't want to win it, just stay here for a sec. They're right in front of you, right? Are you ready? We go one and jack. One and jack. Stop on your knees. It doesn't take long, even with your light weights, for your shoulders to start burning on that one. So the two of us, shoulder height and higher. But in five seconds, you have the option to put it down and let her rest. Ready? Set! Go! Quick! Try to keep those arms together. They're probably going to be together. Don't leave the floor. But you'll just throw your toe. 
Make sure it's tight 
get to your body or skip it all together and do all the front raises. 20 seconds. And we're going to go all the way up. Squeeze. Squeeze. The whole time, there's tension. Two seconds. Last one. Tiny rest. Set it up. Waist it here. We're going to drag. Get a little lower. Drag. Two, and one, grab those weights. We're going to do 
Careful your back. The posture to start. Ready? Set. Let's go.
this arm is down, this arm is here and you need it. You're gonna come down and then you're gonna come center. This foot will come forward to come center. So if you turn, if you can, I'd like to see that arm come up and down. All right, so we'll give it a try in 10 seconds. You can practice. You open up range of motion to tip if your feet are here. That's why they have to be here. Ready? And every week. So let the heart rate come down just a little bit. Kind of move a little bit. You will not need your weights for this, but you will need your mat. You're probably going to need a towel. Okay. We all good? Give me the thumbs up for good. Awesome. All right. Set that mat up. Now, if for any reason core is not your thing, I want you to get on all fours and you can work some donkeys and you can just work some butt lifts. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right, heart rate should be good enough to get down by now. We're going to start with crunches. Everything lasts just about a minute. If your neck starts to hurt, it might mean that you're just tiring out. So I'd rather have you rest than to just start yanking on your neck. 
reposition, put the work in your core. All right, guys. Ready? Get there, get there. Do the set up. Time. All right, ready. Set, hands on your head. Let's crunch, crunch. Basic crunch, basic basic. Good, cradle that head if you need it. Good, so there's a string from your heart being pulled up to the ceiling. Uh, shoulder blades just peeking up off that floor. Good. And four, three, we're going to clam and hold right here. So we got three, two, one, tiny release. Squeeze, 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 tiny release. It's called the clam. You see, I'm making that clam shape. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, and release. Come on. So this one's great. It's the top, upper, and lower coming together. The pause just takes you out of that single count repetition, makes you hold that contraction just a little bit longer. I know. Hold, 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 and release. New move coming up into TikTok. I'll show you what it means, but you're gonna come up and you're gonna winch away or hit your heels. About 10 more seconds. All right, so we're here. Bring your legs together. You're gonna hit your heel. Let's go. Keep the feet squeezing together, the legs squeezing together. We get a little aggressive with it. You're creating some momentum that you need to control with your core. Hit, 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 hit. You're up the whole time. Just press if you need it. Little bonus if you're squeezing your legs together, right? So isometric squeeze right here for inner thigh. Good job. Get in there. All right, next move in five seconds. Straight legs, hands up, full crunch. Here we go. So down, down, up, up. The legs are the distance of your mat. Hands stay up. We're going to heel it up. Reach. So exhale on the way up. Keep those arms nice and straight. Good job, Tina. Nice work, Stacey. That's different when you can't bend your knees. Normally we do this from bent knees, straight legs. There's not as much pushing off of your feet. Maybe you're pushing off of here, so try not to. Try to peel up with that core. So transition is coming up. Let's see, there's a chat. Hi. Keep going, gang. Make sure everybody's still muted. All right, we're good. So we're gonna work Russians with a leg up. So come to seated position. When you twist, you're gonna kick up. Just pick a side. The direction you twist is the way it goes up. And if you want, you can go quicker. You gotta lean back because it doesn't work from up here. Get those elbows. Get into that floor. Kick, kick. We're almost five minutes into our 10 minutes, so hang in there, okay? Good, wrap it 
going to go up and come down, keep that here, and just keep twisting rather than up, down, up, down. Just keep that twist going. So we're going to do an old school type of crunch that I love coming up. We'll do right leg and left leg. We're going to bend one leg, keep one leg totally straight, and then we'll bring it up to knee height. It'll be a different uh, way to feel that crunch. So you're down. Bend your left leg. Right leg is out here at angle height. And you're just going to crunch. While it's contracted and suspended at angle height. If you want to pulse quick, pulse quick. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Now bring it up to knee height. Contract it. It's an extra quad. Do you see that? 
You guys almost did a full and complete 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna let you stop. I'm not letting you out early until it hits 10. So final 10 seconds. Then we can do a quick stretch. You can get on with your awesome day. Four. One, you did it, good job. So, come on up carefully. Roll it up. Take your right leg out. Sit it back, chest up. Switch. Weight is on that. Hands from the back leg. Three, go back, stretch right here, flat back, so flat, round up, one more, all the way up, quick quad stretch, and hip flexor. If you have time, do a little extra stretch, I know some of you guys are probably going to take off and go for a run, or do more, that's great too, quick switch. for bringing us all together because it's a super special group. Um, this Wednesday class won't be as intense cardio as my morning Sunday or my Monday. So just know that going into it, but I think that that's good because we have a lot of hit classes on this quarantine schedule. So please just give that gift to your body to use some light weights and uh, feel free, you're welcome. Feel free to unmute yourself if you want. Great job today, you guys.